YouTube, Shuki here with an unboxing of the Power Rangers Blu-ray DVD Digital HD Best Buy Exclusive Combo Pack. Uh, so this was sent to me by Lionsgate, so huge, huge thanks to them for sending me this way a little bit early. I get to check out those bonus features that the internet is raving about right now. I got mine a little bit later than everyone else did, and I'm recording this a little bit later than everyone else did. But... Hey, uh, it is what it is, but here we go with the Best Buy edition of the Power Rangers movie Blu-ray. Super excited for this. I loved the movie. You can check out my review of the movie, both spoiler and spoiler free, uh, by clicking the little eye up there in the corner so you can check that out if you so wish. But this is a limited collector's edition. I don't know how many Best Buy is going to have. Best Buy's collector's editions usually sell out pretty fast. They don't have as many as like Target and stuff usually does. So this is going to be $24.99 at Best Buy. However, I think it's on sale at release for like $21.99 or something like that. So you save a couple bucks. But normal price for this is $24.99. The Best Buy version includes uh, some collectible art cards. Obviously, the packaging is entirely exclusive. And uh, we will take a look at that. So... Pretty neat. There is all the stuff that is on the back. So let's go ahead and uh, get this open and see what we got. All right, so here we go. I absolutely love this packaging. We have Elizabeth Banks as Rita on the back with the five Rangers on the front. And this is a nice clear slip cover, which is definitely really cool. I like slip covers a lot. Steelbook is ultimately my favorite type of packaging, but... Uh, these kind of slip covers are really nice too because they kind of protect everything, but very cool. That just kind of looks neat on its own, to be honest. And then we have the package itself with the lightning bolt on the front. Like I said, Rita on the back, Power Rangers on the spine. We go ahead and open that up. There is the digital HD. Gonna slip that out of the way because I want it. A uh, Zordon on that side. Here are the art cards. And uh, these are kind of neat. I like little collectible pieces of art. It's got a nice hollow foil on it, which is very cool. So we have uh, Trini right there. Uh, Kimberly's. You can read that if you so wish. There's Jason's. Where's his bio? Billy's my favorite character in the movie. There is his bio. And then finally, Zack, who I also enjoyed quite a bit. I enjoyed all the characters in this movie, to be honest. But there is Zack's bio right there. Then we also get a card of Rita. And while Rita is not hollow foil, the art is definitely really cool. Or the photo, rather, more so than anything. And you even get a little bio on Rita. So there we go with those art cards. Like I said, Zordon is right there. You open that up. It's going to look really cool. Uh, but this is the Blu-ray of the movie right here. Really cool art on the disc. That here is the DVD copy of the movie, and then here is the inside. You have the Zords, the Five Rangers. Very cool spread. Like if you had a multiple multiple monitor setup, this would actually be a really cool kind of like stretch desktop to use. I had a setup like that a while ago, and it was really fun to do stuff like that. But uh, so there you go. That is that for the Best Buy version. Of the movie. Now, is this the one that you should get? I don't know. That's up to you. You do get the art cards, which I do very much like. I dig that a lot. Like I said, I like little collectible pieces of art, like lithographs and and stuff like that, little art books. Uh, the packaging, like I said, is definitely really cool. I like the way the packaging uh, looks and functions. Like I said, it protects the case really well, and it looks really cool on the display. Uh, now, Target is having a steelbook version of the movie. I forgot what the cover art looked like. It wasn't as cool as this, if we're being honest, uh, in terms of design. 
Um, I am going to pick up that copy because I do love me some steel books. I feel like I need it and I want to actually purchase this. Like I said, this was sent to me uh, from Lionsgate, so huge thanks to them for that. But I do want to toss my money and purchase the movie because I do love it and want to support it. So I'm probably going to pick up the Target one. We'll take a look at that probably tomorrow when it releases officially. Um, I'm recording this on a Monday. Uh, so this will release on Tuesday at Best Buy, uh, the 27th, at check. Uh, so the movie officially releases on Tuesday, the 27th. Uh, this will be the release at Best Buy. Targets will probably be $19.99 for the Steelbook. Also included with the Steelbook is a copy of the Aftershock graphic novel, which is a kind of sequel to the movie, sort of. It kind of continues the story. Uh, so that will be at Target. Meanwhile, uh, Walmart, I don't think, has any exclusive packaging, but they do have an exclusive bonus disc that I think has two additional uh, special featurettes on it. So take your pick on where you want to pick it up. Personally, I think if you have the graphic novel already, this is the one to get because this package is really cool. And I love everything about it. If you're a huge fan of Steelbooks and don't own the graphic novel yet, then obviously you're going to want to check out Target. Like I said, we'll take a look at that release tomorrow when it officially releases in stores. So, again, huge thanks to Lionsgate for this. Very cool. The bonus features on here are really neat. So, uh, do check those out when you get your hands on the Blu-ray for yourselves. So, again... Huge thanks to them. I'm very thankful this movie is finally out. I saw it in theaters five times, and I very much love it. I know it didn't do as hot as we are all hoping it would, but uh, the hope for a sequel is still there. Come on, make it happen, Lionsgate. You know you want to. So that about does it for this unboxing. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and let me know which version of the movie you plan on picking up. So that about does it for this unboxing. I said that twice. But as always, thanks for watching. Take care, and have a great one. Bye.